Gobi Desert stands as one of the most attractive tourist spots in China. But did you know that this desert used to be a great threat to China and its neighboring countries? Yes, you heard that right. In fact, it still has some alarming signs. That's why China is reforesting this desert. China is quickly reforesting the Gobi Desert, and it is an amazing sight to behold. The desert, which was once a barren wasteland, is now being blanketed with trees and plants. This transformation is thanks to the Chinese government's aggressive tree planting campaign. But what do you think would be the reason behind this? Why is China doing this? And what are the benefits? In this video, we will talk about the Gobi Desert, its background, and how China is reforesting the desert. So, without wasting any time, let's jump off into the video. China is the world's most populous country with over 1.5 billion people. In China, a large portion of the population still depends on farming and agriculture for their livelihood. However, the country is still facing a major problem with desertification. This is when desert-like conditions expand into areas that were once habitable. Desertification is caused by various factors, including climate change, overgrazing, and poor irrigation practices. As a result, farmland is becoming increasingly scarce in China. This is certainly not good news for any country as it terribly impacts the economy and the lives of those who rely on farming for their income. But what is really causing desertification in China? The answer is the Gobi Desert. China is home to one of the largest deserts in the world, including the Gobi and the Taklamakan deserts. These deserts negatively impact the population as they expand and swallow up farmland. As a result, many farmers are forced to abandon their land and move to urban areas in search for work. This is putting a strain on resources in cities and causing problems such as air pollution and overcrowding. In addition, the desertification of China is contributing to climate change, as the loss of vegetation results in less carbon dioxide being removed from the atmosphere. The Chinese government is taking different measures to stop or at least reduce desertification in the country. And the biggest step to control desertification is planting trees to convert the Gobi Desert into a green forest. But before discussing how China is doing this, let's talk about the Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert is a large desert region in northern China. It covers an area of nearly 500,000 square kilometers, making it one of the largest desert regions in Asia. The Gobi Desert is home to a number of unique animal and plant species, many of which are adapted to the harsh desert conditions. The camel is one of the most iconic animals associated with the Gobi Desert, as it is well suited for traveling long distances in the sand. Other animals found in the Gobi Desert include the kulin, a type of wild donkey, the black-tailed gazelle, and the argali, a type of wild sheep. The Gobi Desert is also home to a wealth of unique plants, including saxifrage, tulips, and various types of lichen. According to experts, the Gobi Desert expands by an average of 15,000 square kilometers every year. While this may seem like a small amount, it is actually quite significant. Over time, the Gobi Desert will eventually swallow up large parts of China and Mongolia. This would have devastating consequences for the people and wildlife who live in these areas. Every year, from March to May, a pattern of strong winds sweep across the Gobi Desert, picking up fine sand and dust particles and carrying them thousands of kilometers away. These gigantic dust storms, or sandstorms, can cover entire cities in thick blankets of dust, causing widespread disruption. When strong winds blow across the desert, they can quickly whip up large amounts of sand and dust carrying hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away. In 2006, for example, a particularly severe sandstorm swept across Beijing, leaving the city covered in a thick layer of dust. As the Gobi Desert continues to expand, it could create a feedback loop that would make the region even drier. This would lead to dust storms and other problems that would impact Asia and the rest of the world. Ultimately, the Gobi Desert's expansion is a real problem that needs to be addressed. But why is the Gobi Desert expanding? And why is it becoming dangerous for everyone? The desert has been steadily expanding due to various factors, including climate change and human activity. China has began a massive effort to plant trees in the Gobi Desert to control this. The project started in the 1990s and was undertaken for several reasons, including the need to combat environmental degradation and create a local timber source. 
However, the project's success also depended on the personalities of the people involved. One key figure was Wang Wenbeo, the director of the Greening Bureau in Inner Mongolia. Wang was passionate about the power of trees to transform the desert landscape. He worked tirelessly to secure funding for the project and mobilize local communities to participate in planning activities. It was a nationwide campaign to halt the desert spread and reforest the Gobi region. The project has involved planting billions of trees, building windbreaks and terraces, and establishing nature's reserves. This planning project is known as the Greening of the Gobi Desert and aims to plant billions of trees in the Gobi Desert. Reports show that over 500 million participate in tree planting every year. So far, billions of trees have been planted, but the project aims to plant 100 billion trees by 2050. If successful, the project could significantly impact global climate change. Apart from China, the effort is being led by a Mongolian organization called the Green Corridor which is working to reforest the desert using a variety of innovative techniques. One of their key strategies is to plant trees along livestock migration routes. This provides much needed shade and shelter for the animals and prevents overgrazing in sensitive areas. In addition, the Green Corridor is working with local communities to plant trees and restore traditional grazing lands. As a result of these efforts, the Gobi Desert is slowly but surely becoming greener. And who knows, perhaps someday, it'll be completely transformed into a thriving forest. Due to the greening of the Gobi Desert Project, the number of sandstorms has decreased significantly. Another reason for this decrease is the construction of artificial oases. These oases are created by planting trees and other vegetation in strategic locations across the desert. The roots of the plants help hold the soil in place, making it less likely to be blown away by strong winds. In addition, the trees and other plants provide much needed shade for shelter and desert wildlife. The Chinese government has also implemented policies to discourage farming and grazing in desert areas to reduce the risk of desertification further. There have been efforts to reforest the Gobi Desert in order to combat desertification and create a new source of timber. While reinforestation may have many benefits, there are also a number of disadvantages to consider. Firstly, it is uncertain whether trees can thrive in the harsh conditions of the Gobi Desert. The average temperature of the Gobi Desert is below freezing for much of the year, and rainfall is extremely rare. As a result, it is possible that tree planting will simply not be successful in this environment. Secondly, even if trees do manage to take root, they could further exacerbate desertification by competing with native plants for moisture and nutrients. Finally, reforestation would require a significant investment of resources, including water, which is already in short supply of the Gobi Desert. For these reasons, any decision to forest the Gobi Desert should be made with caution. Despite these possible disadvantages, China is doing a great job reforesting the Gobi Desert. And with advanced chemicals and technologies, it is possible to grow and maintain lush green trees in deserts. Let's hope for the best and see what the Gobi Desert will look like in the upcoming years. This is all for today's video. We shared in detail how China is reforesting the Gobi Desert. The desert was no doubt causing desertification in China and neighboring countries. But with the efforts of China and its people, things have become way better than in the past. And we hope they keep on becoming better and better. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and watch more videos like this one. Comment down below if you know anything about how China is reforesting the Gobi Desert. See you in the next video. Till then, peace.